Oh, snap, that actually worked two nights in a row. What's going on, everybody? Good evening, good evening. Yes, actually made it on a Wednesday night on time. Actually, before time. Eight minutes, eight minutes before time. Ben Builds, what's going on? Ben, good to see you. Bob, Bruce, the King, Fubar Benny, Free Kyle, Free Kyle, and yes, what the F, Benny? We made it on time. What's going on, Ken Horvath? I, uh, I don't see hobby time in here anymore. What's going on, one? Hopefully you guys are doing well. Ben, I got a... Yes, there's always room for you, one, especially since your team's making the playoffs and, and mine is not. What's going on, John? Good to see you. Ken Benjen. <laughs> we got Joe Benjen and Ken Benjen. Uh, ben, actually, I'm going to email you tonight or tomorrow. Um about an about our next adventure together what's going on chuck skull good to see you kind sir hopefully you're doing well it's messed up it's messed up around here we got we got uh three hey there he is what's going on hobby time it doesn't show you on the list it said you were gone what's going on sir uh we got three down with the covid kenny kenny it's like a cold for him this is the second time he got it this is the first time kelly's got it and she's she's hammered by it, and my mom got it in, uh, and she's down in Florida. So she <laughs> she left feeling well, got to Florida, and got hit with the COVID. Yes, indeed, I will email you tonight or tomorrow, and uh, see see if my new plan plan is good. I'm actually starting to feel like crap. So, and I I can't feel like crap. I can't get this COVID. I've been staying away from them. I got the uh, the front end loader coming this weekend because I'll be off of. Uh, Finally off a of disability, and I could do some work around here. So hopefully, hopefully, I tested. When did I test? What's today? Wednesday? I tested yesterday. I tested negative. So hopefully, hopefully it's still negative, and I'm just feeling crappy. Uh, geographically, Kenny, you are filthy one percenter, rich with local NHL franchises. So jump on a bandwagon. <laughs> nope. If I'm going to jump on a bandwagon, it's going to be the Rangers. But me. Me and Junior are pulling for Edmonton to win the Stanley Cup. We want Edmonton to win. So hopefully they do. We we would like we would like to see Connor McDavid raise the cup. We definitely would. Bud, what's going on, brother? What's going on? I heard you were talking to Kelly, keeping her company while she's uh in bed and ill. Even keeping the dogs away from Kelly because dogs can get the, the dreaded COVID too. So I printed up more of the um the Bride of Frankenstein busts. This one came out good. I'm using new DLP Craftsman resin for you 3D printer guys. Um, totally did not know the settings on it. My, I lost one. One was just a big blob at the bottom of the vat. The second one, the um, I don't usually put a raft on there. Um, the bottom layers all pulled up because I didn't have it set long enough to uh, cure those on this type of resin. So this time I put a raft, uh, longer exposure time, and I actually, here, I'll show you the girl. I'll show you her. Yeah, I was talking a lot today all about you. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Make fun of me. It's okay. It's okay. All right, let's grab her. Oh, she's stuck. She's stuck. It's actually, she's actually, I want to see if I can get her up there. She is actually a very, very nice file. Um, how I how I had her this I cleaned up most of it. Um, this is going to be just a test test piece for me. I had the supports on the back had her on a forty five degree angle, as as most of my prints are. But the back was full of supports, and the problem is, on that forty five degree angle, tons of supports end up in her hair, and there's so much detail in her hair. Once you start sanding, this is going to go flat back here. And I don't want that to happen if we're going to be selling these. Um, so I'm trying something crazy. I just have one printing up right now. I kind of put her straight up and down to see what happens. Because this is all just R&D until I can get a really good print on this. And only the bottom two layers of her hair is going to have the supports on there. So it's a nice size with the base. I don't, you know what? I don't even know how big she is. Hold on, I'll read that in a second. Without the base, the bust alone is uh, five inches, not not from the key, from the bottom 
to the top of her hair is five inches and the base is probably another two inches so it'll be seven inches seven inches tall once it's all uh once it's all said and done yes indeed Shu. have a safe ride home we'll see you in a little bit what's going on phil good to see you kind sir you're coming here if they make the final see a game in snowdrift you and Kenny are welcome to come up and bring ear protection. It's louder than your service days during playoffs. <laughs> I would love to go. I would love to go. I've just been spending too much money getting prepared for uh, the backyard. And uh, we spent money on some other hockey stuff for, for Kenny too. So, But yeah, that's uh, that's that's a work in progress. Hopefully I can I can dial this one in, get a nice print. It's got, she's got scars. You're not going to be able to see it because it's just too too faint for the camera but she's got scars down her cheek and underneath her chin and then we got if i could get this one going i got frankenstein um the mummy and the hunchback of notre dame so hopefully we could get all those and get those going going very well can you get tree supports i don't even know what tree supports are don't even know what tree supports are I go with auto supports and then I just move around what I have to move around like this is like the second time I did this one and I didn't realize when I did the supports on the first one underneath her chin all the supports were in her scar so that would have um that would have taken that away so I, I messed around I moved all the supports underneath her chin so those were out of the way uh the biggest problem is her hair so we can uh Tree supports are called roots. <laughs> Technically, it is. Hey, what's going on, Eric? Good to see you, sir. And Dan the man. Dan the man, good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, indeed. Dan's got a whole bunch of 3D stuff going on. All sorts of 3D printing stuff going on. Definitely won't see Kelly today. She's she's up in the bedroom laying down, but I actually get making her get up and walk around because it's not good to be laying down all all day like that you know especially with with the covid uh i'm back to masking the windows on the voyager oh great fun all those little windows i do auto and then add more if needed yep that's it i either do i do auto and add more if needed or maneuver them if needed what is your slice because tree supports are great uh, i use cheeto box i use cheeto box that is my slicer of choice i don't like lychee um, I tried any cubics. I hate that one. Any cubics, I cannot stand. I, I like Cheeto Box the best. That that one's a that one's a very nice slicer. I just wish this would. Uh, I just this wish this would print. I mean, I could print her faster if I do the uh, one millimeter layer height and go and get the high speed resin. But that you see tons and tons and tons of layer lines. I go the slow slow route with my prints to make sure. And a smaller layer line. I'm actually trying. This is zero. This point zero five zero millimeter. I'm trying to figure out the settings for point zero three zero, which will be even a lot slower. But I mean, this is crisp detail. Uh, I just can imagine what a uh, zero point point zero three zero would do. Doing good, Eric. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. Look under your options. Or custom supports. I don't even know if there's custom supports. Let me go back. I have Cheeto Box open all the time. Let me go over here. Let's go into supports. <coughs> Let's go into supports and see what they got. Light. Light. Middle. They spelt middle wrong. It should be light, medium, and heavy. Uh, advanced settings. Nah, it just has the regular supports where I can change the sphere on top and stuff like that. I have no idea. No idea what tree supports are. They don't have them on Cheeto Box. Now i got to look it up and see what they are. Because they might actually just be images. 3D printing tree support. Let me look what these look like. Let's see if they're the same things that I have. Ah, uh, yeah, that's decrease the tree supports. Yeah, tree supports are they're they're automatic. They're automatic. You don't have to do a do a setting for uh, tree supports on on Cheeto on Cheeto box. 
I'm looking at pictures of what tree supports are. And it, they look exactly, exactly like uh, what Cheeto Box does. They're just all meshed together. So those are those are those are automatic. They don't ask you to use tree supports on there. Picked up a Hasegawa Strike Eagle one. Nice. That's right. Benny spends more money on stuff. Anybody score? Any new old kits? I just scored an AMT 69 Galaxy Bumblebee and a Lindbergh Little Red. Oh, very. Oh, Little Red Wagon. That's nice. Didn't think you could do tree supports on resin. Uh, from the pictures that I'm seeing, the tree, what they're calling tree supports, are exactly what what I do. It, it's what they're calling tree supports on resin is when two two supports are close together and they X them up together for support. If that's if that's the same thing, I don't I don't I don't know if that's different on uh, on an FDM printer. It's the hollow part, maybe what is in the hollow part? I figured that's still on Cheeto Box. All Cheeto Box does with um, like this one, when you put your supports on, it just runs the supports right through the whole right through the whole thing. It adds supports inside. Um, what I do this one, you're not definitely not going to be able to see it, but I. With where I, where I have um, like these are 10 millimeter holes because I'm using gray resin. I want to make sure I get rid of all of the uh, resin in here as possible, and then I rip out the supports that are inside because you, you're running the risk of those supports not being cured and uh, wet resin over time. So anything I could get out of there, I get out of there and I rip all the supports out, and she's she's fine that's the one thing i don't like about gray resin is i've had trouble this one doesn't have any of the uh the splay marks or anything like that so this one the dlp is very nice i'm gonna get i usually buy standard resin plus which is only 17.99 a bottle compared to the dlp dlp is 50 dollars a bottle so i'm gonna print out on the um <clears throat> standard resin plus and see if i get the same quality uh detail out of that that I do out of the DLP. If so, then I'm just buying the normal $17 bottle instead of the $50 bottle. $50 bottle's expensive. Uh, F. Oh, congrats, F. You. <laughs> oh, you got me there. They cleaned up really easy in FDM. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I can't show you what what's on mine. Do tree supports on my resin printer all the time. I'm assuming tree supports are just just when they're close together and it puts the X in them. I, I can't see it being anything other other than that. Or not the X. Sometimes it's an X. Sometimes it's a solid line. I don't think I can bring up. Let me see if I can bring up. Let me go to the teaching screen. You're going to be able to hear me, but you're not going to see anything. You're going to see the back end right there. Um... Let me see if I can pick pick the um, Cheeto Box. I can pick Cheeto Box. Done. Let me see if Cheeto Box picks up. Nope, Cheeto Box isn't picking up. Dang it! I was going to show you what I see on the on the back end. <coughs> I was going to show you what I see on the back end, but it's not uh, not doing what I want it to do. Let me minimize Cheeto Box. Um, also on the community. If you haven't seen, I have up. Ben already posted a couple pictures to change the pictures that are up there in the corner of the Green Lantern for April 1st. If you want to put uh, pictures on the community where they are, it's under HLI Community Announcements, I think. Only one picture of your build. Um, you know, three, four, or five builds is okay. Uh, and then we'll do what we used to do and put the pictures up in the corner of your guys' belts. <laughs> it better come with a happy ending. Uh, DLP is beautiful. I mean, the the stuff is crisp. It's it's really 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 nice detail. But that's what I'm gonna want to do. I want to do the um, the what call it standard resin plus. If that comes out the same, then I'm going to get do the $17.99 a bottle instead of the craziness. Was that the bottle of high-speed resin you promised? No, I haven't used this. That's sitting here. That's sitting here. Oh, Chris. <laughs> uh. 
Look what I found, Chris. It wasn't underneath the desk back here. It was actually on top of all the kits up there. So it's nice and not dusty or anything like that. And it, and it was sitting up there. So I didn't lose your Christmas gift. I did not lose your Christmas gift at all. Not at all, sir. <laughs> no, that high-speed resin bottle is sitting sitting somewhere. I don't even know where it is. It's sitting around here somewhere. My mom keeps moving things all over the place in here, so it's sitting around. No, the um, this is what I use for clear. You're not going to see the words probably. Standard resin plus. Um, I got a whole bunch of that. And where's the other one? Where's the other one? That's more standard resin plus standard resin plus standard resin plus standard. That's all clear. Here it is. Uh, DLP Craftsman Resin Gray. This comes in different colors like like apricot and some other, you know, I think white apricot and something else. So it comes in different colors. And the weird thing is looking at, looking up settings because I was having trouble with the settings for this. Um, the different colors have different settings. I just noticed Kenny got a haircut. No, I, I got to get a haircut. I'm still a hippie. I have this weekend before I get back to work on Tuesday to go get a haircut. Tree Sport have a central core and a branch out. Ah, that's that's Cheeto Box automatically does that. If your if your whatchamacallit, if your supports are like this close together, they'll branch them together. I pay about twenty a kilo for PLA. Yeah, I pay only seventeen seventeen ninety nine for a kilogram of uh, of resin if I'm using using the standard resin plus. If I was going to get into 3D printing for starships and sci-fis, would it be better off with FDM or resin? Some people say FDM. FDM printers are getting much better, but the resin printer, in my opinion, gives a much, much better detailed uh, print than an FDM. FDMs are getting getting there. I mean, there, there's some seriously nice prints, but I'm all about the resin, so I'm biased. I'm biased on the, uh, hey, ho, <laughs> who are you calling a ho, Jalen? Oh, Jesus. Tammy gets me two bottles at a time. Um, watch on Amazon. They've been having um, the standard resin plus. Two, buy two, get one free, pretty much. Build that one. Build what next? What are we building next? This, the... This is just a bust, if this is what you're talking about. Um, this is just a test piece to to clean it up and see how it looks. This actually, once I get a proper print, is going to go go over to Joe Hudson and he's going to paint it up for the uh, the pictures for the site. Right now, I'm working on on which call it Jack Skellington from the Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't know. These guys keep mentioning Discord. I think they miss it, Benny. Juice. I love juice. <laughs> so I went over to Hobby Lobby today real quick because Jack Skeleton has a base. It's a decent base. Um, but I can't just let my my models just sit on a base. I always have to do something. Oh, Hal? I don't know what I'm gonna build next. Maybe I will build Hal next. She gets some that would be a that would be a quicker build than what I'm doing doing right now. went and got this thing this is the base comes in two pieces well comes in two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen pieces for the base and then that would sit there and it would look nice once I'm done but I can't just do that so I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this little case in the display section and it's meant to put your models in or baseballs or whatever, you know. It was $14.99, got it half price. <sighs> what I'm gonna be using it for is I'm gonna tuck my circuit boards up in here. This guy's gonna go on top there. I'm gonna scratch the surface up. We're gonna do we're gonna do a ground effect again on here. Um, then I'm debating because I'm gonna paint this case. <laughs> I don't know if I should paint it from the inside or the outside because I'm definitely going to have to scuff it up because it's way... Oh, there's, 
this dusty resin coming out. It's way too smooth for paint to adhere to this thing. So we're gonna use this as a base. We're gonna put this on top. We're gonna paint the bottom, have our on off switch and the power in the back. But I'm gonna be doing something with this, which I'm not gonna tell you. Because then you're not gonna come watch the video. Then you're not gonna come watch my videos. <laughs> you're not gonna watch them. Chris doesn't watch them anyhow, so. And neither does Dirk. Dirk doesn't. Dirk says he watches them. He says he watches them. 20 a kilo. What's the street value? <laughs> How requires lighting and sound like Boyd did. Yeah, that would require lighting and sound. Tell Spence to get on it. Actually, Spence, we I, we got to tell Tommy to get on it. We had a customer uh, email Paul today that he wants three Grissom boards, and we don't have three Grissom boards, so he's got to get uh, he's got to get on the boards. I think we have enough to make boards, so hopefully he'll have some to you soon. How durable or fragile is resin? Um, I guess it depends. That all depends. The resin, um, if you over cure it, it's going to become brittle. If you under cure it, it's kind of sticky. It also depends on your wall thickness and stuff like that. Let's find out. Because that's just a test piece, so we don't care. All right. So that hit the table. Then she hit the concrete floor. She still has her head. No chips in the uh, in the sides, no chips in her hair. She still has her nose, so the resin's pretty the resin's pretty durable as long as you don't over cure it. Don't want to be ejected out of my window in my sleep. That would not be a good. That would not be no, nothing normal with me when it comes to models. For clear acrylic, I sand wash and then use Rust-Oleum. Say it with me, Rust-Oleum. I have Rust-Oleum black. <laughs> I have Rust-Oleum black. Yeah, I was thinking of that, Phil. If I should paint it on the, the inside to keep the outside a glossy, a glossy finish. But I don't know if I want glossy because Jack Skellington is very dark. Like most of the colors are going to be dark grays and, you know, dark washes. His outfit is black. The only thing that's, that's going to have color is pretty much the two pumpkins. His hands, that's not even a color, white. His hands will be white um, and his head will be white. So there's not a lot of color. So I'm thinking of doing it on the outside and doing doing a matte coat. Not sure yet. Speaking of getting on it, how about a Viper board? Yell it. we got to yell at Spence. Kenny, use the Tamiya spray paint meant for poly RC bodies. That will stick. Paint the inside. You're welcome, Ken. I'll, I'll, this one I don't mind throwing around to, to show you. This this hit the table. Uh, from the table down is about three feet, two and a half, three feet. So it could take it could take a good beating. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What's going on, Dan? Good to see you, kind sir. Yeah, that means I'm gonna have to order paint though. I have I have uh, Spence's rust only yum underneath here somewhere so I do have black rust-oleum that that I can that I can use uh, and I I just got to make sure I, I wear gloves and get my fingerprints off that because I really really want that to uh, really want that paint to stick because I have a I have a good idea or I think I have a good idea and hopefully it works out and hopefully you guys think it's cool um, I'm hoping by next week I'll have the first video up on it and and we'll uh we'll see how that goes because i was trying to work on it today but there's a lot of i got a lot of stuff to do around here with you know everybody being sick so you can get the tamiya rc paint and hobby oh i didn't even see it there i didn't see it i seen they have um they got the tester small bottles i didn't see tamiya paint there when i was there today because i went down the um i went down the hobby hobby aisle might have to stop by there again tomorrow and see what they got. Because I just need black. I just need black. I only need one color to do that. Because the top, the top I'm definitely going to scratch up. I'm going to use, you know, like 80 grit sandpaper and scratch the hell out of the top. Because I'm going to be using clay on top. And I'm going to need something for that clay to bite into. And hopefully it sticks and stays. Uh, we'll, we'll find out about that one. Then paint it about 
45 minutes, then let it set for a week. Absolutely no touchy-touchy. Really, a week? Holy cow. That's a long time. Not my Hobby Lobby. Yeah, my Hobby Lobby, I didn't see any Tamiya paints there. Um, they got the little Vallejo sets. They have, uh, what is it, Createx? The other one? Well, they used to carry it anyway. Yeah, I don't. I didn't see any any Tamiya cans there, so I might I might have to order that. I might have to order that and see. Oh, but uh, Rustolian black primer, then paint about forty five at about forty five minutes, then let it set for a week. Damn, that's a long time a week. But the good thing is, if I do paint from the inside, I could put the bottom piece on and no dust will get in there. So I wouldn't have to worry about that. More oil base versus lacquer. Gotta wait. Ah, uh, okay. I picked up some oil paint too today. Just cheap, just cheap masters. Um, where did I put it? Anyhow, I hate that. Everything just goes missing that I bring home. My hobby shop has all the paint I need. I don't have a hobby. Well, I do have a hobby shop if I want to go. I guess it's about an hour and a half away. If I want to drive an hour and a half, but I really don't want to drive an hour and a half to uh, to a hobby shop. The small Rustoleum cans. I don't need a big Rustoleum can. Uh, that's a good question. Oh, yeah. I bought this. Uh, I did buy the cheap. I did buy the cheap um, Masters Touch oil paint. I would. I didn't. They don't carry anything else. If I wanted the good stuff, I would have had to go to Michael's. So I just got myself a little thing of black because I need that to do the oil washes on. Um, I want to do the oil washes on Jack Skellington's hands and stuff like that. <coughs> the pin washes. No Dr. Pepper. It's not on sale. We can't leave you alone for a second. That's true. To me, paints are getting to there. You have to order the hobby shop. It doesn't have it anymore. If you need acrylic or oil paints, why not grab a bunch of bargain nail polish? Because nail polish isn't going to do what an oil paint would do, I don't presume. <laughs> I am a hobby shop. I can get I can get Apple bottom of the barrel within a 70-minute drive. Jeez, Louise. That's a long drive to get. That's, just, that's like me. So mine's a little further. Actually, I don't know how far it is it's got to be it could be an hour and a half it could be a little less if steve was here the maker's cave because he goes to aa aaa hobbies all the time let's see google maps google maps let's see how far away it is aaa hobbies and crafts it's all the way down by um it's all the way down by atlantic city <coughs> oh, I hope I'm not getting sick. Hey, there's a McDonald's across the street from it. From AAA Hobbies. Uh, let's get some directions. It's in Magnolia, New Jersey. And... Oh, no, it's about the same as same as you. It depends on which way I go. If I, if I go down um, the turnpike, then it's an hour and nine minutes with tolls. If I avoid the tolls... Then it's an hour and a half if I avoid the tolls. Why? See, stupid GPS. GPS has me going north to come back down south. When I could just jump on uh, Route 1, I think it is. I just jump on 1 and go south. It makes no sense. And I actually could just jump on the Garden State Parkway to get to, to, get to, to the New Jersey Turnpike. Exit four. Uh, it's all the way down at exit four, so there's there's only a few more exits than I would be in uh, Delaware. It's down there, yeah. So it's it's uh, oh look at that Voorhees Township. I wonder if Jason lives there. And there's a little there's a little lake right there in Voorhees Township. Very interesting. I have to take a ride down there. I actually told Steve the Maker's Cave I'd meet him there one day, which would be nice. No, I don't eat McDonald's anymore unless I'm I'm really, really, really starving at work, which I rarely am because I rarely eat. I'm back. I think it's nice out. Daisy did not want to come back in. Now, it's raining here, so raining today and tomorrow uh, for a bit. I'm hoping it dries up by Friday. 
because I got the truck coming in the back and I don't want uh, the ground to be soaking wet. The color shift Walmart has? I didn't know they had color shift paints over there. The closest hobby shop we have is Hobby Town, 75 miles, and that's mostly RC. So get yourself a shamrock shake and a McRib. Ugh, McRib. Ugh. Ugh, I did not like the McRibs. Did not like the McRibs at all. If I'm going to go to fast food, I'm going to Wendy's. Definitely going to Wendy's. That would be uh, my fast food. My fast food of of choice. Definitely my fast food of choice. Who's texting me? Hi, Kenneth. Your bill is uh, due for your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll auto pay. It'll auto pay, and you will take my money without my knowledge, and that'll be and that'll be that. So, but yeah, things are things are crazy here. Um, once I'm done here, I'll walk the doggies again, and then uh, I gotta feed them unless Nanny fed them, and then I'm gonna get back on Jack Skellington and, and work on that stuff. Yeah, it hasn't been raining that long here, so hopefully, hopefully the rain stops. It's supposed to rain tomorrow on and off, and I'm just hoping because my backyard is is very very sandy, so it sucks. Like it'll flood towards the back, but it sucks it down so quick that it's pretty much dry the next day. Dynamic pricing. What the hell is dynamic pricing? I haven't been to Wendy's in so long that I don't even know what the hell dynamic pricing is. Thank you very much, bud. What's going on, Mike Mitchell? The Grimace Shake. Never had a Grimace Shake. Nope, never had a Grimace Shake. That, uh, that never had. I The one thing I do like from McDonald's, I did like their hot cakes on uh, Sundays. I did, I did like that. Those were good, but I haven't, haven't really had that in a long time. I try to stay away from that stuff. It's, it's, it's no good. It's no good. I'm ready to go to bed. I can't go to bed yet though, because we have to, we have to, whatchamacallit. We have to stay on here for at least another half an hour before, uh, before we go. Who hearted something? Hey, Paul Tosney. Paul Tosney hearted our thing on, <coughs> on Twitter. <coughs> Joe's missing again. Joe only shows up when he wants. God, Burger King is really expensive these days. A Big Mac a Big Mac meal is like $18 and something cents they had on the news. No way am I paying 18 bucks for that. I'll go to a diner and get some good food. I like diner food. Diner food is good. Okay, I'm home start over. Yes, you. We shall start all the way over. We were talking about the uh, <laughs> the Bride of Frankenstein, which I hope comes out nice. We got some oil paint. We got a case. Uh, we're doing doing some stuff. Oh, my God. It's Dirk. And George. What's going on, George? Dynamic pricing means that you can pay different prices for the same meal depending on the time. Of oh, screw that. I guess I won't be eating at Wendy's. How, how expensive can they be? Very expensive. The nicer your car, the more you pay. <laughs> it is holy crap, Dan. There's a Dirk sighting. There's a very, very big Dirk sighting. That's what she said. I bought three pizzas the other day with including tip 60 bucks. Dude, uh, that's, that's, that's nuts. That's nuts, 60 bucks. Better off. You know what we get? We hardly order pizza anymore either. I love Newman's pizzas, the frozen Newman's Newman's pizzas, and not Newman from uh, Seinfeld. Paul Newman, his pizzas. One, all the money that you spend on a Newman's pizza goes to charity, which is very very cool. And two, they're good. I like the the spinach pizza. The spinach pizza is very good, and the uh, the Supreme is very good. Kenny's a Red Baron pizza guy, so yeah, that actually comes out cheaper than ordering pizzas. The world is ending. I'm not hungry enough the noon menu price me. Maybe the three o'clock menu. <laughs> I don't think it's just Wendy's that's going to spread. Yeah. Well, they're gonna be shutting down. Cause <coughs> people aren't gonna be able to afford those anymore. Around here we call Wendy's finger food. Exactly, one inflation. Hello, Newman. Hawaiian pizza rules. Hawaiian just shh, shh bud, you'll start a fight in here. Hawaiian pizza rules and Voyager is the best. That's right. That's right. 
get back on the Voyager kick. And Phil's doing the Voyager. Phil is, is masking up all those little uh, all those little windows. I think um, what I'm going to try to do now, too, even dead Paul Newman has a huge brand. Yes, he does. Newman's pizzas are very, very good. I like them. But what I'm going to try to do is I've used the Ralph board once. I'm using the Ralph board again. Same effect. No, different effect. The first one I used reactors. This one I'm using fire. I'm not going to do a third and fourth probably. Uh, but, excuse me, every time we get boards in, I'm going to try to build a model that goes uh, goes along with it. <coughs> hey guys, just stumbled on the stream. This is not easy. <laughs> Switched ham for bacon on your Hawaiian or add it. I'm, I'm with the ham and the pineapple. I'm with the ham and the pineapple. My bacon is a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich on a Kaiser roll. That's that's my favorite morning, uh, my favorite morning breakfast from a deli. It's so good. So so it must be BS Wednesday. It is BS Wednesday. What's going on, Ken? Good to see you. Extra pineapple ham. You mean Canadian bacon? And then it's all good. Yes, Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon is good. That is one of the things I do like from McDonald's is the uh, the egg McMuffins with the Canadian bacon. That's very good. Newman's Pizza? You never had Newman's Pizza? Go down the frozen food aisle of ShopRite. Go to the pizza section. You'll see the Newman's Pizzas. He's got a whole bunch of different uh, frozen pizzas. Like I said, Supreme is good. The spinach pizza is good. Um, Kelly, I think that he has a margarita pizza that Kelly and Elaine and my mom like. I'm not big into the margarita. One of these days, I got to fix this thing. I am so freaking lazy about fixing stuff. Just finished masking the windows on the one side, now starting on the other. Oh, jeez, Phil. Screaming Sicilian. That's a good frozen. We don't have that up here. Sicilian pizzas are good, though. Um, my my favorite pizza is around, around pizza, regular pizza. Anybody in Chicago, that deep dish stuff is not a real pizza. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> New York pizza. If you can't fold it over, it's not a real pizza. Dirk Newman files talking about the Orville, Renabaka, not Newman's. Newman never had popcorn. <laughs> no one sells the pizzas here, just the sauce and the dressing. ShopRite, isn't that where you got the... No, I didn't get it. Little Kenny got it. And you believe this? He just tested positive yesterday, and they want him at, back at work tomorrow with a mask on. I said, tell all your customers you got COVID. See how quickly they go to a different line. See how quick. Kenny, did you order the M5S Pro? I did order the M5S Pro. I got it in on it um, last weekend or the weekend before. So it was supposed to. I, I knew I wouldn't get it by the ship pre-order ship date because I ordered around the ship date, uh, the 18th. So I ordered it on the 15th. I, I, I ordered that on the 15th. They said it was supposed to ship by the 18th. I did not get any confirmation on it. It's not here yet. When it gets here, I'll set it up and show you guys. But yes, I did order the uh, M5S Pro. Just waiting on the Pro. That's going to be the the 14K machine is going to be the one. I'm probably going to have to figure out resin settings for that one. And I got to buy, once that's here, I got to buy two more vats. Um, actually, one more vat because I only use clear on mine. The uh, the M5S is going to be mine for for um, for my own prints. I only, I only do clear the... The M5S Pro will be for customer customer stuff that we'll be using the gray resin for. And if I have to do anything clear, I can do it on mine if there's any clear parts. So we will be doing more stuff. It just takes time and money. So I've never been to Chicago, but Kenny's new lady friend is from uh, just outside Chicago. I've been craving a deep dish pizza. No deep dish. Come on. They think they have great hot dogs and pizza. They don't. New York has the best pizza. And nothing better than a New York dirty water dog or a Sovlaki off the stand. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else is going on. I even have Newman's tea. I didn't even know they had tea. I love tea. i got to make a cup of tea later. I ordered one also on the 18th. No word on shipping yet. Oh, my goodness, bud. <laughs> Don't get angry with it, bud. Don't get angry with it. I'm going to come out there and kick your ass if you get angry with the printer. The M5S, you don't have an M5S, but it's self-leveling. It's freaking great. Um, I'm still working on, I use the basic settings on Cheeto Box, but now I'm starting to mess around with them and go with my old parameters 
Uh, this one's going on my old parameter, so hopefully that comes out really nice. Uh, I upped the speed a little bit on it, so hopefully it comes out nice. I'm still tweaking all the settings on it. Like I said, I'm fingers crossed. I'm still waiting to hear about uh, hopefully a 12 or 14K Max. They got to come out with one. They have to because Frozen has that beautiful big uh, 8K, and I'm sure Frozen's going to come out with a, another one. Italy has the best pizza. I've never been to Italy. Better Coney dogs. I don't even know what a Coney dog is. Never heard of it. What's going on, Brian Knowles? I'm holding out for the Max. Me and Shu. Me and Shu are holding out for, for the Big Max. See, now I'm curious. Because I'll have... If we... Hopefully things go well and we could start selling a lot of these. I'm definitely going to need more printers. I'm curious how many printers... I could put on one circuit before I pop it because the outlets here, I don't know if they all run together and on the same circuit. I'm kind of hoping not. I don't know how they wired them up. So I hope they're not all on the same circuit and they're on different circuits and then I can run, you know, four or five printers at one time. But uh, I guess I'm going to find out. I'm hoping, I'm hoping things work out. We do have Dr. And Mrs. The Monarch over there if anybody wants one of those. Uh, and then she'll be the first bust, and then I'll work on Frankenstein and get the busts up there. So these, these I'll have three at a time. For the first batch, I'll have three once it's good, because one's going, like I said, to Joe Hudson to paint, and then I'll have three on the site, and then once we print them up, it'll be four at a time. We're going to go with small batches to see if they move, and then uh, we can do print on demand, which will have like a week or two lead time for, for waiting on those been to Spain and they have no clue how to make one <laughs> it's a hot dog with chili who the hell puts chili on a hot dog foot long hot dog top with chili onions and mustard Kenny you need a decent battery backup my dude uh, I don't have a battery backup I should I should get one that's just a chili dog you're gonna have to uh, hit me up on telegram Spence send me some links for because I really don't know about that stuff if you know of good battery backups send me some links my brother <laughs> Oh, see, you have your printers on a battery backup. Have saved me a few times. Look at that. It would be better to have Paul run the printers. You know how you are with electron. I am very bad with electronics. If anybody's new here, I blow things up. Me and Eric are a good team if Eric is still here. Because Eric runs 24 volts through his enterprises. I destroy Hobbylink International boards, uh, websites, all sorts of stuff. So me and Eric are the perfect team of destruction. Can you do busts of all the Stormtrooper variations, even the Clone Wars? If they have them, we are doing it. We are doing it the legit way. Um, a lot of people, you know, that have stores don't do it the legit way. Like the one, Dr. Mrs. The Monarch, she was royalty free. Um, the person didn't ask for any type of compensation or anything like that. The monster ones we have, unfortunately, We Make Monsters isn't around and I didn't get some, but we paid into their patreon to have access to be able to print these um so we're going to be looking at more patreons if there's stuff out there that's royalty free and we can use them we will um it's like la3d i think it is i think i i don't quote me on that one but i think it's la3d um as long as you're part of their patreon you can print print and sell their stuff uh saffon 66 if we're part of their Patreon, uh, Nom Nom. So we're going to join some of them to get get the prints we want and print them up as figures. Uh, but once you leave a Patreon, then you don't have the license to do it anymore. It's a funny thing because say, say it's Nom Nom, Jack Skellington. They want you to pay their Patreon so you can sell their sculpt of Jack Skellington. Which... I'm selling copyrighted material, so how can they tell me not to sell copyrighted material when they are selling copyrighted material? It, it, it's, <laughs> it doesn't 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 make sense. But yes, we are we're gonna try to get as much stuff as uh, we can. My work printer has a battery backup going to cost six that whoa six thousand dollars for a battery backup. Holy shnikes! I have two printers and one QR station on mine, and it can take one can take another system. I have. I had the three printers. Oh, my neck. I had the two printers. Uh, I gave the Mono X over to uh, our friend Durkin here. So I gave him my Mono X. But I had those two running and the thing on one. I have a power strip. And they were all running fine on that one. So it's. I guess they don't take a... 
take a, um, whatchamacallit, take up that much juice, but I wouldn't want to put too many on there. So I'm going to have to figure out a configuration. I'm going to, uh, you know, hopefully um, Spence can help me out with the battery backup because that would be awesome. Yes, Nom Nom has a lot of cool stuff, Ben. Definitely a lot of cool stuff. See, sometimes I think on Wednesday night, Joe shows up and logged in under Ben. <laughs> and I actually, Ben's usually here on the Wednesday night and Joe's usually on the Saturday uh, Saturday night. Yes, it is Ben. Ben is, Wednesday, ben is the Wednesday guy. He shows up on Wednesdays when he can. And Joe, if he's uh, getting sloshed, he'll show up on uh, Saturdays and hang out with us. But yeah, hopefully, I, hopefully that doesn't... Uh, I don't blow any circuits. But I'm just, I'm just happy because this weekend... I'll be able to call Tough Shed and tell him we're ready. They can come pop in the two sheds. Once the two sheds are in, then I got to go to Home Depot, rent a truck, and get, um, I forgot what Tommy said, two by sixes or two by eights. This way I could do the rafters and put up the um, three-quarter inch plywood up top this way because we're getting the barn ones. This way I can store stuff up top, and then this place is getting wiped out. I'll tell you guys now, you're going to see, because you guys watch my videos all the time, you guys always come to the live streams, eventually you're going to see a video, and you you guys, people that watch me will know, I'm going to probably title it like, I'm done, or I'm quitting here, or whatever, and, and I'll show this a mess, and then we'll come back and show you the completed uh, thing, so if you see anything that says I'm quitting, I'm really not, it's, it's clickbait. <laughs> Kenny, when do you give away startup again? I'd be at a new place. I'll give you a new address. Uh, in April, I'm going to try to start them up again. April will be it. Hey, Ben, are you Ben and not Joe Ben Jen? Joe Ben Jen. When replacing FEP, how do you get the tension right? Tips and tricks. Which, um, what printer do you have, Dan? Because what, what's nice about the, um, the M5S and the M5S Pro, it's not like when I had the Mono X and I had to put the... Um, the Dr. Pepper cap under there, this way the tension was up, and then I, I, I could lock it all down in place. These, you just put it on, tighten it up, cut off the excess, and throw it on there. Do we need to take collections to bail Joe out again? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. He's always in trouble. <laughs> Joe's on assignment. Poke Tom on UPS backups, too. Yeah, I have to ask. He, he, knows, uh, he knows about those two things. Joe will have Soviet stuff. Joe will have the Soviet stuff. Definitely, uh, that's, I never even thought of a battery backup. Actually, my in one of these boxes somewhere, my mom has a battery. I don't know if that's the correct one, but it was a pretty big battery backup for um, for dad's computer because dad always made sure he had the good stuff just in case something went down. Yeah, it's broken. The Mono X6K. It's probably the same, Dan. I would look on... Um, any cubic on YouTube, but I bet you the Mono X 6K is like the Mono X 4K, where you take apart, you know, you take apart the vat, you get get the FEP out, put the new FEP down in between the plates, and then put a bottle cap in the center, and then tighten down all the little screws. Once that is done, then you flip it over, put it back on the vat, and tighten up all the big screws. But when you do that, start in one corner, then go opposite corner, then go opposite corner, opposite corner, one in the middle. One on the opposite, you know, like you're doing a like you're doing lug nuts on a car. You don't want to just go around. You kind of want to tighten them in a pattern like that. But I would say it's probably the same exact thing. Yeah, if you look, I have I have a video of it um, for the Mono X, how to do the bottle cap thing um, on on our channel. So if you want to check that out, you can too. There you go. So Shu said it's the same as the same as the Mono X, the same. The same type deal on how to do it. Here, I'll go to I'll go to the channel. I'll grab the link if you wanna wanna watch. Not that you wanna watch me. Not that you wanna watch me. Videos. Let's see. Let's see if I search it. Let me see if I search it. If FEP comes up, I'm just gonna put FEP in <coughs> on mine. How to replace a beginner's guide. There we go. You know, somebody's rubbing somebody's butt. That was interesting. Let me paste. That's the video that I did on how to do the bottle cap trick. I'm quitting YouTube 2024. Goodbye, sad face. So tired, not coming back. Please subscribe. Exactly. No soda caps required when replacing the FEP on the Mars Pro 2 either. Same thing, that, which is nice. That on, on, the, on the M5S and the M5S Pro, you just put it on, tighten it down, and, and you just go. 
Spence has 100 subs. He's legit now. Yo, Charlie Mack, what's going on? Hopefully you're doing well, sir. Hopefully you're doing well. <coughs> Freaking coughing like crazy here. I really, after this, I'm going to run over because Kenny's got a test. Kenny's got a test again, and I got a test again. I was, Like I said, I was negative yesterday. Hopefully I'm still negative. Negative Nancy. Um, I'm trying to think of what else with the printers and stuff. But I have a good one. I keep seeing I keep seeing Ben's name pop up. So I have a if Ben agrees to it, um, if you don't remember last year we did did a little collaboration. I sent Ben a kit to do for our channel, um, and you know I don't he could post it on his channel too. But he was doing an HLI thing for us, which was very cool. He did the B wing because I was never going to get to building that B wing anyhow. But I have another good idea, um, and if he likes it. Then we're gonna we're gonna work on this and eventually some because I never pressure anybody, which is bad. But Ben Ben came through, Ben came through with the build series. Um, in the past, way way in the past, I've given given stuff or collaborated and uh, it, it fell through. But Ben 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 came through with everything, so I know he will come. What I'm saying is no rush for him to do the build. It could be any time during during the year because what what I have in mind and if he remembers, it's it's actually a pretty big build. So, we shall we shall see we shall see what happens. I will cough, cough, and stop. No, that's just smoker's cough. <laughs> that's just smoking kills COVID. Don't you know that? You'll get COVID on Monday, so you have an excuse not to go back to work. No, if I get COVID on Monday, I have no choice but to go to work because they don't cover COVID at work anymore. It's not an excusable absence. So I will go to work as a good union member with no mask and tell them that I have COVID. What do you want me to do? So go figure. I watched that video before because I liked it then. <laughs> there you go. You already watched that video. But no, it's it's just I got the got the cough going on. No COVID. Like I said, I'm I'm gonna go get another test, but I, I tested negative yesterday. I'll test again tonight. Kenny's got to test again tomorrow before he goes to work and, and all that good stuff. It would be my second time. And if I do have it, it's nowhere near as bad as the first time. The first time was bad with the cough. No pressure. I'm pressured all the time. None of you have any idea. Paul has to intervene. That's right. We cracked the whip on Spence to do so much work. And we pay him in kibble. We pay him in kibble. We're like, make new boards. Design new stuff. <laughs> Our favorite slogan is... We're complete 40% of the time, 100% of the time or something like that. Kelly told me today it's all your fault, Kenny. It's not my fault. It's She meant little Kenny. Little Kenny's the one that uh, we told him when he wasn't feeling well on Friday to test for COVID, and he did not, and he spread it to his grandmother and his mother. So if he would have tested Friday, we would have quarantined him in his room, and he wouldn't have spread it around. So not my fault. I don't got it. I don't have it. Hey, what's going on, Ron? Yeah, YouTube sucks with notifications. YouTube is very, very bad with the notifications. I'll tell you, though, two new boards are in the works using FX002. Indeed, they are. Yeah, Dan had it bad. I've had it once. I've had it once. Kenny's. This is Kenny's second round. This is Kelly's very first time getting it. Um, and this is my mom's very first time getting it. So they both avoided it the whole time until... Till Kenny brought it home and infected his family. <laughs> <coughs> uh, yes, indeedy. Hey, Ron, I like the um, I like the to me a turntable you made. That that was that was uh, pretty cool with the little post that you can put your sticks in too. Should make a top without those little posts on it, and then you can you know have those whenever you want. It was nice nice work. Do you design all that stuff? I can't design nothing. I, I, I couldn't even make a popsicle stick. I made one little round thing for for whatchamacallit, the Green Lantern, and that was so simple to take take a circle, cut it in half, uh, put it in a cylinder, drop it down a little bit, and print it out. But I couldn't do anything like Dana. Dana draws. She taught herself fusion. She just jumped on fusion and started messing with it and started drawing stuff. I was like, I wish I had like a quarter of the talent. Kelly's not going to blame her, babe. This is true, Shu. I get blamed for everything. Actually, I gotta go, go take care of my mom's cats soon. I gotta go feed them, feed the kitties, change their water already. I gotta do their litter boxes again. So a lot of, a lot of stuff going on with the ladies gone. Boards might get names too, but Tom's choice for one was, 
a little suggestive. What what was his name for a board? I don't remember. I, I remember, didn't we have like Omega or something like that for a board? I don't remember being suggestive or was he messing around? That is very cool, Ron. Very nice design on the uh, on the little turntable thingy. I liked it. I liked it a lot. That was that was very cool. Very cool. I don't remember the name. I remember could have sworn one of the boards he was making was uh, was Omega. Yeah, Fusion. I can't work in Fusion. Fusion 360. No way. I've downloaded it. Name one Viper board. <laughs> well, stuff like this. Like the, the Bride of Frankenstein, we can't actually... Well, this I might be able to. But uh, Dr. And Mrs. the Monarch, we changed the name. Um, if I get the rights to to do um, Jack Skellington, that'll be the uh, A Christmas Nightmare or something like that. And then we have our own in the works, which i got to come up with uh, 380 bucks for the first files that I'm going to have made up. Now I'm deciding on uh, which character to do first, though. That's That's the main thing, but... Hopefully people, not saying here, come on, freaking send it to me somewhere. And send it to me on Telegram, I'll say it. Oh, Tommy's birthday today. Happy birthday, Tom. I know you're not watching. I know you're not watching. Oh, you can text it to me. Now now that I remember that, you know, it's a different name. It doesn't say Spence when, uh, when, it, when it comes up. <laughs> when it comes up, it doesn't say Spencer. It says another name. This is really nice. This is really... Oh, you know what I just noticed? Actually, within the print, it actually captured... There's no way, because it's too dark in here. They captured the dimple in her chin. I didn't even realize that printed out really nice. Her lips are nice. The, what I like is Antonio. I can't remember Antonio's name. He does these Star Trek figures. But what I like about him is he does... The eyes, and he puts the eyes in for you. So you just have to dot the pupil, paint the color in. <clears throat> With her, you'd have to do eyes like me. One's going to be up here, and one's going to be down here. She's so going to have monkey eye. Um, but, um, yeah, this guy, Antonio, he does really, really nice work. And has a superhero name. I don't know if my phone went off. I'm waiting for I'm waiting. I want to know what it is. I'll say it. Dang it. I'll say it. <clears throat> I will definitely, definitely say it. Uh, just finished window masking bolts. See, good thing about live streams, you can listen and work on the Voyager. Uh, Hull, it took me 40 minutes to do it. Now I got to start on the bottom half. That's the one bad thing about Star Trek ships is all of the windows. Just tons and tons and tons of windows. I have the old D up there. I've had that D forever. I'm debating if I want to get a new D. Check your private chat. <laughs> See, what was the name of it? You know, I ne I don't even remember that one. I don't even remember that one. So you got a good memory, Spence. I do not remember that one. <laughs> Priapus. Priapus and... Fascinus? Fas I don't know. Fascinus. I'm going to say Fascinus. Oh my God. Tommy's a nut. Tommy is a nut. Okay. I did not know that. Wendy's dynamic pricing change could upend the fast food industry. Yeah, screw that dynamic uh, change. I don't remember if Virgin had windows. It does. It's got a lot of windows. Not as many as the bigger ships, but it's got a ton of windows on there, especially when you're, when you're cutting all of those out and then filing them all out with figures. That's the first I look is for the eye detail. Now the guys are, the artists are, are putting in the eyes. Um, a lot of the old ones, they don't put in the eyes and you got to paint the eyes in, which this one isn't bad. The eye sockets are actually, you know, they're not huge, but with the magnifiers on, I could get in there and, uh, you know, watching a lot of fig, figure painters, one, one of the tricks to get the eyes to look the same is holding it upside down. Um, and never making your your subject look dead on because that that ends up looking goofy you know just have it slightly to the side i just got an enterprise d paint outside and scrape off the windows no windows in voyager i'm looking at it right now there's tons of windows there's tons of windows the tos was good for not a lot of windows are just asking for trouble voyager has windows you just you're just a Voyager hater, Chris. You hate Voyager. 
<coughs> tons of windows. Not tons, but USS Voyager. Star Trek. Look at all the windows on that thing. Tons. Tons down the hull. On both sides. They're a pain in the neck to cut out and mask. So you stop it, Chris. You just hate Voyager. You just hate Voyager. You don't know a good ship when you see one. But yeah, eyes eyes, and me are not fun, skin tones. But I still paint figures because figures are actually... What did you say? Oh, V'ger. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I thought you were making fun of Voyager. You're still my hero, Chris. But uh, I, I love figures, uh, dioramas. That's, that's my favorite thing to build. So... One day I will try her because she's a lighter, you know, a much paler skin tone. I do have scale 75 has the, the whiter skin tone, which probably would be good for her. But then doing the shadows on that would be, um, with, uh, would be a little bit pain in the ass. They, they're always messing with me, Dan. They're always, cause they, they just don't like Voyager. They don't know a good ship. My new Enterprise D, I don't have to drill out the windows, which is very nice. I would still mask them up though. I wouldn't scrape it out. Even with a even with a toothpick, scraping it out, you're still gonna get jagged edges. So I would I would still mask. Guarantee somebody comes out with him. I wouldn't doubt if Lou Del Maso, because he does a lot of mask sets, has a mask set to put on all the windows, and you pull those up and get a nice crisp edge on those. But as far as the toothpick method, uh, I guarantee you're still gonna get. I watched um I watched Boyd do it. I don't know how he did it sitting there. Me, 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 me. But uh. He did it. I, you know, you can't see all the way up close, but I bet you there's some touch up in there because you're gonna, you're gonna miss sooner or later, and you're gonna have a jagged edge on there. V'ger is a nice little ship. I got one of those for Chris for his birthday. I sent, I sent him one. I did, and then he sent me Hal for Christmas, which, which Christmas Eve is only nine months away, guys. The monogram version of the Voyager kit has square blocks for windows. The special edition and subsequent river. Yes, they do. I have the original kit, which is uh, which is just a block. So that's fake news, Dan. We are trying to educate him. He's a slow learner. <laughs> and that's why I love you guys. Boyd does have a lot of patience. Uh, if you didn't see, Boyd had a new video up. He's doing the um, Fan Home Batmobile. That thing looks awesome. That thing's going to be freaking huge. I'm just not a fan of the part works um, ones. I, I just can't wait for the stuff to come, which is stupid. Because I buy a kit and then it sits up there, but just not not wasn't a fan of the. Um, I guess maybe because we're not you're building it, but you're not painting it and stuff. I like the I do like the painting process and and I don't like the sanding process. The sanding process is no fun, but with resin you have no you have no choice. Hey Chris, I don't remember. Did you ever get the um, speaking gifts? Munch joined the he did, he did. Dan is a fellow cup of noodles model builder, just like me. But uh, Chris, I don't remember for the for the V'ger. Did you did you get the uh, photo etch set for it? Because I know that photo etch set was pretty expensive for that kit. I asked Lou if he has going to make a masking set for the Enterprise D. Still haven't heard back. I could have sworn he had one for the Enterprise D, because like a long time ago, when I used to talk to Steve Neal all the time, <coughs> and Lou talked to him too. Um, he put me in touch back then. I didn't know Lou, but he put me in touch with Lou Damaso, and he made me um, he made me a a masking set for the Voyager, the original Voyager kit, which was very nice. I mean, he didn't even charge me or anything, and he did it quick too, which was which was nice. And he sent them over, so it was it was nice to meet those guys. Well, I never met him in person, but you know, I did I did video chats with uh, Steve Neal and stuff. I did, but didn't you? Oh, I hope you returned it, got your money back. Or you're going to use it for something else like a post-apocalyptic uh, build again. Because that was a very cool post-apocalyptic build that you did. That was a very, very nice build. Who would have thought Chris could build models? <laughs> I doubt Lou will. He laments on the wasted material because of all the asymmetries. But he did one for the thousand scale Don Shoko kit. Voyager is not bad ship. I see someone make warship version. Voyager is the best ship, Brian. It's it's not just not a bad ship. It is the best ship. I love Voyager. I love Voyager. And Chris loves Captain Janeway. I do not like Bandai for the same reason. Put together, not painting them. Well, there's no reason not to paint them. Bandai, I still paint the Bandai kits. Look at what uh, 
Look at what, um, whatchamacallit, Dana did with the first Millennium Falcon I sent her. Painted that whole thing up because it, it looks like a toy if you don't paint it. What did I do? Um, the only one, the Bandai kit I built was the Luke Skywalker. I didn't paint him because it was just, uh, just a figure to get out of a funk. Um, the Bandai, was it Bandai? No, it was Hasegawa, was the, um, the Arcadia. The Arcadia I built, that was Hasegawa. That was pretty much uh, press and play, too. But, yeah, the, the the you still need glue on them. You still should put glue on them. So you can say the same thing about Tamiya, too, <laughs> except you got to paint those. When did Chris ever build a model? I don't know, Shu. That's a darn good question. I think the models he posts, I think he has his grandchildren actually build them. They build very well. I build more than Spence. That's all that matters. Mmm, Janeway. Spence is glacial. You got to give Spence a break because he's he's very busy. We keep Spence tortured building boards. Chris, the Harry Kim of HLI. <laughs> uh, the only ejection I would give Janeway is out the airlock. Oh, boy. I painted my Bandai Falcon, but just flatted coat and washed my Grievous. Yeah, the figures, I really wouldn't even bother painting the, painting the figures. Um... Like some of the guys do. If I if I were to do what like the guys do, where they pose the arm and then sculpt in the rest of the arm, the articulation parts, then then I would end up painting it. Like Jalen did a nice uh, Jalen. What was it? Was was it Boba Fett that you did for the uh, speed build? I know you didn't paint. I don't think you painted the whole thing, but you added like chipping and stuff like that. If Jalen is still here, she did a good, very good job on uh, that. F1 car, nice. I'm not a big car guy. You guys learned that last time. Chris, the eternal ensign. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I got to build a car again. I do have to build my um, my foos over there for that group build. That's uh, Now it's a perpetual group build. Jump in on it if you want. It's going to be the forever group build. And that's not one of the official ones that we got going on. Oh, if you weren't here last show, what we're going to do for all the 2023 builds, uh, we're going to get those together. We're going to have a double show since May the 4th is a Saturday. We're going to have everybody's build from last year plus the Star Wars show and do it all all in one day. Skip Star Trek and Star Wars. It's Red Dwarf for me. I can't believe Ben said washed his Grievous. <laughs> ben has a very clean Grievous. He has to keep it clean or his girlfriend won't talk to him. <laughs> this one is awesome, by the way. Oh, let me see. Let me see. That's who I was thinking, Rob. Rob did an awesome job on... Uh, Rob did an awesome job sculpting those the, the stuff in. Yeah, for the first speed build, did the Bo it was Boba Fett. You did a really nice job on that Boba Fett. I know you added stuff to it. You just didn't slap it together. I know. I know you. I remember you doing stuff to it. We're getting old, and I can't remember everything, unfortunately, which sucks. Oh, well, they do have some uh, ST. I gotta go check that out. I I stay. Got to keep the Grievous clean. Indeed you do, Ben. Indeed you do. A dirty Grievous. Nobody likes a dirty Grievous. <laughs> Caught me pooping. <coughs> I'm sorry, Jalen. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, Red Dwarf is a good... I got to check Gambody. My problem is I always go to CG Trader. I know Gambody has sales on stuff too, and they have really, really cool stuff there. Like I want to pick up the Ice Dragon that you did. Because uh, I keep jumping in on Game of Thrones when Kenny's watching it. And I'm liking more and more of that show. I'm going to end up having to watch it. This year's speed build will have a boobies theme. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's going to have a theme. The star bug on Game Body Channel is keeping her Grievous clean too. <laughs> <coughs> I never slap my Grievance. No, no slapping the Grievance. <laughs> oh, gee, you guys are bad. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. That's that's how it goes. No slapping. <laughs> Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. You are going to make Grievous COPD worse. Oh, jeez, you guys, you guys are just horrible. That's why I like hanging out with you guys. You always make it a fun show, and I get to read some funny crap in the, uh, in the, in the side there. We get to talk about some models, some movies. Oh, speaking of, I haven't seen it yet. I want to get game game bodies Lex. I got I got to really look on there. I haven't looked at a lot. Um, I know some of you seen it. How do how'd you guys like the Dune movie? I haven't seen it. Kenny wanted to watch it because we we're gonna have movie night the other night. He wanted to watch the original Dune, not the new Dune. Uh, but Kelly was like, I am not into uh, into sci-fi, which she isn't. 
Hit it, slap it, bob it. <laughs> Boobies, the build, not the builders, except Shu. He's a boob. Oh, Shu, you take that? You take that? See, now, if it's going to... that That's going to be tough, though, because that's going to be a figure. And and to do to do a figure as a speed build, that's going to be... That's going to be tough. It was very good. Dune, Dune 2 was great. Yeah, that's what I was curious about, how Dune 2, Dune 2 was. Um, I'm thinking about the figure build. I worked on the 1984... Oh, very cool. Dune 3 will be Messiah. I watched it. It was good. A good watch. Do you have any great Godzilla 3D files besides... No, I don't have any. I have only one... Uh, Godzilla themed file that I have to do for my my brother. I'm waiting on the 14k printer to get in, but the Gambody has a, a bunch of good um, good which call it good files over there. Where's my Godzilla file? Here, Godzilla three. Yeah, I have a uh, Angiris. I have that one. That's 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 definitely uh that's definitely a nice one. But no, that's that's the only one. I don't have any Godzilla ones. My favorite though wasn't Godzilla. My brother was the Godzilla fan. Um I am the King Kong fan. I love I loved King Kong. Mighty Joe Young and stuff like that. Joe Benjen locked in at work for another three hours. I saw Ghostbusters the other day and it was funny. I heard the new Ghostbusters was very good. Not really a good book movie, but great. Haven't seen it. I saw the original one was Patrick Stewart in it. Uh, only read the books. I might watch the newer ones. Some of you slack on the SB last year and picked a kit you built in a day. I I I never finished. Yeah, Ghostbusters. I melted mine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ghostbusters made me laugh. Time to just saw it last night. <coughs> Your model 3D printing model to go on sale. That's a big ship. Uh, Dana did a 3D Yamato. 350 scale. I'm looking at the new Alien Romulus. Cautiously optimistic. I think you'll like the movies, but don't get hung up on the books when watching. See, I'm, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so when I watch the movies, it's like, it's missing that, it's missing that, it's missing because I read all the books. I want a good Godzilla from Minus One. I was a bigger fan of Gamera over Godzilla. Oh, you like Gamera, if that's how you say it. Gamera was cool. I loved all. I, I always watched the Godzilla movies because me and my brother, you know, when we were small, he loved Godzilla, so we, we would always watch the Godzilla movies, or you know, I guess they were movies except they were on TV, so we we always watched those. But I was a I'm, I'm a King Kong guy. I like King Kong. Now you have Thanos as Gunnery Halleck. I have uh, I have Talos, not Thanos. I have Talos as a 3D print. I got to print that one up too. eBay nonsense left me bitter on Godzilla kits. Which Godzilla kit? When they were selling, uh, when they were selling the one, what is it, one one forty fourth scale Godzilla, where he's got the train in his mouth and stuff, and people were selling that for between three and five hundred dollars, and then the next thing you know, they repopped it, and I bought two for sixty bucks each. Got two of them. Got two of them. Yeah, that that was. I hate eBay because people think plastic model kits are actually worth all that money when when they're not, just because they're old and you can't find them. I can't afford it. I don't need it. I've said that many, many times on the show. Uh, I if, if I can't afford it, I don't need it. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome style. Two men enter, one man leaves. My friend's dad was college professor who knew Frank Herbert. His dad hated that movie. I heard Godzilla Minus One was awesome. I heard it was awesome too. My I, I'm pretty sure my brother saw it. New Harry Potter coming. Say they will follow the books because it will be... Yeah, that's what I heard too. It's supposed to be 10 years. And it's supposed to be following the books. But unfortunately, like anything else, you have your Harry Potter book fans. You have your Harry Potter only movie fans. They only watch the movies. They never read the books. And those two sects are kind of against having the show because we know Harry Potter is Harry Potter. I probably won't watch the um, the one HBO series, even though I do have HBO. I may I may watch the first episode and see how it is, but it's not it's not the Harry Potter I know. So I kind of get stuck on. On, I hate remakes of anything. I hate remakes of anything. It's just, you know, come up with new ideas. Uh, Gamma should have been added to the Monsterverse. 
Nope, someone sold me a recast. It was a fake listing, but I got their profile. New. Ah, very good, very good. Minus one, minus color. It's in black and white like they were. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome that it's in black and white. Can't beat that. Yeah, I like old films. I like old movies and stuff. But yeah, I'm not I'm not one for, for remakes. I, I can't stand remakes. It's like remaking Jaws. Why would you want to remake Jaws? They're they're remaking It's a Wonderful Life, which is it's I I will will not watch that. That's you, you're taking classics and and just remaking them. Come up with a new freaking idea. I like them both, the books and the movies. I don't get hung up on that kind of thing. I I don't either. I'm just I. It's just I'm so used to who Harry Potter is. The next Harry Potter will have Hermione, black eyed wheelchair, <laughs> or it won't be that. It'll be Timmy from South Park. Timmy from South Park will be Hermione Granger. Oh, I love South Park. Oh, my God. They're coming out with a new video game. I got to look it up. My brother told me told me it's gr- it looks really good. I played The Stick of Truth. I love The Stick of Truth. I never fr- finished The Fractured Butthole. I got to play that game. But The Stick of Truth, oh, my God. The nonsense that goes on in that game. You got to do an abortion. Then you're climbing up Big Gay Al's ass. <laughs> <laughs> South Park is so wrong, but the game is so much fun. Oh God, I love South Park. Good stuff. It was bad as when it colorized all the black. Exactly. Why well, colorize them? Like I won't watch um, Babes in Toyland, March of the Wooden Soldiers, whichever way you want to call it. I always called it March of the Wooden Soldiers. I won't watch that in color. That's got to be black and white. Holiday Inn's got to be black and white. Um, uh, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, black and white. You know, there's certain movies. Uh, Christmas Carol, black and white. They they have to be black and white. I can't watch Mr. Hanky. That's right, the Christmas poo. Oh Jesus! I haven't played that either. My son said to get that game. Yeah, I never fr- finished the fractured butthole, but the the stick of truth. Oh my God! I played that for hours upon hours upon hours, just just playing that game. I gotta finish the fractured butthole, and I don't know the name of the new game. My brother just told me the other day when he picked up my mom. I was like, okay, I gotta check this out. Uh, there's like a super deluxe version of the game coming out that's 300 bucks i think he was saying it comes with cartman's hat um oh what else does it come with of course the game and a whole bunch of whole bunch of other stuff there he is there's there's cartman cartman's showing his little face oh jesus 810 already (coughs) well boys and girls i myself am gonna go because i had a great time hanging out with you guys but I have the sickly one down there and one up there. So I got to go take care of all the animals, uh, make sure they're okay, go to the store. I got to go over to Walgreens or CVS and get Kenny another test. Always a fun time uh, hanging out with you guys, chit-chatting and all that other stuff. Uh, Saturday, there will not be a show. I will let you know right now. No show on Saturday because I have the John Deere front end loader with a uh, backhoe on it coming. I will be working in the in the yard all day it gets dark around 7 7 15 here so i'm going to be working all till then and if i could keep working i am so if i somehow luckily finish what i gotta do i will come on but i'm not making any promises that i'll be on saturday because i got a lot to do i want to get those sheds back there i want to get this garage cleaned out and and start working on this place so i have a decent studio to work in and then i could try to keep it dust free because there's just tons of dust in Just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of dust in here. All right, boys and girls, I hope you all have a great night. Thank you, as always, for coming to hang out with me. Ben, I will definitely email you tonight or tomorrow. We'll go over that and uh, see what you want to do, if it's a go or not. Um, You guys rock, and I will see you... uh, I will see you probably not Saturday, probably next Wednesday, but keep an eye out for, for links and stuff like that. All right, guys, be good out there. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves. I'll see you all soon. Take care. And bye-bye, everybody.